Hi. So what I want to do is a series of maybe 10 minute lessons on Lebensol. And the idea is to try to make it simple. I think it is simple. And uh, what, that's what I want to try to do with these little breakdowns. So we'll start with the essential problem. Lebensol, our first primary use is over interference with Notron. Here we have a hand uh, in which our partner has opened a 15 to 17 point, uh, one Notron, although it could be any range, you just adjust points. And we have a hand that is weak with seven diamonds. And this is a hand that we would normally use whatever device we have for transferring. Maybe just a very simple one, uh, like a pass, uh, a transfer to clubs, and then a correct, something like this. Uh, this is how we would get to this uh, this diamond contract. Uh, we know a partner has two, so we'd have a nine nine card fit, and we'd hope that partner with his one no trump would have enough in his side suits to to bring this thing home. Right? This is your basic generic weak transfer. The problem arises, and the problem that we're going to try to cure is when the opponents bid. Now notice nothing has changed really. We still want to get to three diamonds. Right? So I guess we could just bid it. But what is our partner to think? Should he think about bidding on or not? Because what we need is some way, well, first of all, look, look at this. On this hand, we have the diamonds again. This time we have six of them. We have a strong hand. We might even have a slam. This is the kind of hand where we might transfer to diamonds if we had the right gadgets. And, and then it's a slam investigate. Um, but what we want to do is, is take advantage of the fact that we could have a very good uh, trump suit and diamonds, and and enough to to uh, to perhaps make a slam. Um, but what happens when they interfere? Now, how do we go about trying to show our game forcing hand with diamonds? Can we just bid three diamonds? And the problem here is, well, that's what we just did in the other hand when we were weak. And this is why we have this little gadget. Okay, and this is sort of the heart and soul of Love and Saul, so this is key, is that we use a relay. And what the relay does is it just creates different paths, different roads to the same place. And the gadget is a relay. A relay is, is it's just a command to your partner to bid the next suit up, generally. No matter what gadget you're using that has relays in it, that's usually what it means. And here, the Levensaw relay is to no trump as a command to bid three clubs. And now you get to three diamonds indirectly after the relay. And that's the gadget. That's the key. That's the Levensol bid is two no trump to three clubs. And now that we have two ways to get to three diamonds, two ways to get there, we can have a different meaning for each one of those. Now look, we're bidding a suit that is lower ranking than the opponents. Correct? Notice that our diamonds can't be bid at the two level. Right, now if they had bid if they had, um, if our suit was hearts and theirs was diamonds, we would have a higher ranking suit and we could bid two hearts. But when we're bidding a lower ranking suit, we only have, we're going to go to the three level to show our diamonds, but we have two ways to get there. And this is what we do. When we relay, we're showing the weaker hand. When we bid directly on the three level, it's showing a game forcing points. Okay, so that rule, a direct bid on the three level, 
hold in your mind because as we go through the lessons, that will always be true. A direct bid to three level is game forcing. So, but here, what we can do is we relay three clubs and we bid our three diamonds and partner knows to pass. He knows that you're weak and he won't look further. And this means that it's possible to show a stronger hand. By simply bidding the diamonds directly. See, we have two ways to get to three diamonds because of the relay. If we use the relay and then bid three diamonds, we're weak. If we don't use the relay at all but go directly to the three level, bids on the three level are game forcing. So here, North uh, sees that his partner has relayed to diamonds. He can see that the rest of the suits are stopped. Um, he, he could uh, simply bid three no trump and uh, leave it up to his partner to uh, investigate slam if necessary. And here I think he would not. So there we go. That is the two no trump relay, the Levensall bid. And we're going to revisit that two no trump three club relay over and over and over again in these lessons. And the thing to remember is, is that the point of it is to create different paths to the same place. Here, we used it to, to get to three diamonds two different ways. And the next time we look at it, um, we're going to see that it's even possible to get to create three different ways to a suit. So that's what we have for today.